Hey guys, this is Gafflum with Family Time Gaming, and we are going into Reign of Kings. We're going to, I'm making this video, this will be my second video actually, I've made a first one, but I kind of had the sniffles this morning, and so there's a lot of that in there. I may post it anyways, just to see, just to give everybody a chance to see it and see how I do on that one too maybe I did better on it than I'll do on this one I don't know we'll find out um, but I was listening to it and figured some people might actually get a little annoyed with uh, sniffling occasionally <clears throat> for anybody that hasn't played this yet which it is fairly new no it's not very many may have uh, especially with the developers who they are and everything else but this is the house I'm on that my guild members here built um, gilded with the server owner and one other guy that I met last night after we wiped the server uh, I helped him gather not very much of this wood I mean I helped him gather a good 10k but they've built a lot more than what I thought they were building when I left we were building this house that's it and the chests were here and the crafting station was here and they were working on the second floor well they're starting to work on a third floor and they've got the stairwell for it but they do not have an opening as you can see right there uh, but they built a lot more than what I thought because like I said which uh, they've forgotten to put me as a family member so I can't open this door I'm in the guild I just don't have access to that uh, all those fires man you don't even have to be right on it and it burns you um, so I'll just take out those blocks so I can get out and I'll put them back and they built this also and I was not aware we were gonna attempt all that so he gathered quite a bit of wood after I went to bed last night um, a proper panda did all this and he built a gatehouse which <laughs> on the previous video I didn't realize that he uh, blocked in with build with the wood blocks this other gate so you actually can't see it on the inside you have to remove them just to access that gate but done a very nice job I'm you know he worked a lot on this last night uh, looking at this you know I still don't understand let me I got to thinking maybe that's not our guild crest maybe that's why I don't see the borders on it but I think you're supposed to see anybody's whether they're part of your group or not so let's come over here let me go look at our crest and see what the symbol looks like oh, that's the wall let's see yeah that's not ours oh, I'm gonna go pull that up still didn't explain why it's not working properly though because I should be able to see a border for it but let's just take this bad boy. Oh no. Hmm. You know what? Oh, I hate to just destroy it. Cause I don't know who it is. And none of my people are online. Huh. And I hate for them to actually have ownership of part of our wall. I'll have to. God. I just really hate to do that. Well. I guess let me, I'll just play a little bit here and I'll talk about things. For those that haven't played the game yet or are just getting started, one thing to main tip I've got for you, big thing starting out, is to gather wood. Once you get enough wood, which you'll have to use your club, which I don't have anymore because I've, I've gathered stuff that I don't need it. Um, so here, you know, gather these rocks for one, but just find you a tree and chop it down. You know what? Let me adjust that volume. That volume's rather high. Probably going to be high on the game also, or on the video also. So let's lower that a little bit. Ambient we don't need. That should be well enough. Mm, well. We'll leave it. We'll see how it turns out in the video. I may have to come before my next video, change it. Chop down these trees. And with the club, it's going to take a lot longer. You only get two resources per. With this iron hatchet, I get ten per hit. So it doesn't take quite as long. 
what you'll want to do is you'll want to go in with that wood you've gathered and make you some wooden javelins and it makes three per ten logs you have a stack of fifty so once you've got that which you'll have to find the village from where you're at from where you start which you'll always start on the beach or at least every time I've ever started it's always been on the beach I've never seen otherwise but you'll find this village and one thing to help reference it is right there above this village you'll see it looks kind of like a little crown building tower type thing in the distance there that's the throne room and so considering it to be north then obviously this village is south of it and this is a plagued village and when you get close enough to it it will actually fog over and so when you look off in the distance it's all foggy you also will take damage once you come into it um, you can come in here and try and loot stuff see if you can find anything a lot of players come in and out of here all the time so I mean <coughs> it's on a rare occasion that I found items good items so I've found good items so that's that's for sure um, we're gonna check one more chest and then we'll get out of here because eh. I'm pretty sure people have looted it frequently enough. There's really not going to be anything in here for me. Let's see. Yeah, let's see. I found one oil. And, you know, if it been any other resource other than iron or steel, I wouldn't have messed with it. Okay, this guy right here, this is a plague villager. <coughs> I do not want to go into Malay. See, he actually hit me. <coughs> and, uh,. You're better off with these javelins, and they have a hundred hit points. So it's they do these javelins do eight points of damage per. So obviously you're gonna have to hit them with about twelve. That's why you need to make sure to have enough. And of course, as creatures, including yourself, take damage, you end up slowing down as if you're hurt. Now, see, I actually got leather pants off that. That's not real good. Last night, I killed one guy, and I got these steel plate pants and the steel great sword off of one guy. Uh, so they're good to kill because you can get armor and weapons primarily. I mean, it's, or tools, um, steel tools. Iron or steel is usually what I've always come across. It's really good for the amount of, la for the little bit of effort you've got to put out for it. I think they're pretty good. I mean, let's make these javelins. These javelins take nothing to make. Especially if once you build yourself a stone uh, hatchet, you won't have to, won't take you very long at all to get a wood to make them. Kill these two and then we'll move along and I'll go through and show you some other stuff in here. You know what, let's get him. Oh, that guy's empty. Thought he was gonna fall over on his face right there. Yeah. There we go. Ah, leather light vest. Which, yeah, I need a chest piece anyways. Been running around in my skivvies all day. So that's me right there. Yeah, it's better than my man thong though. I got rid of that yes last night when I got those steel pants. So, like I said, that's, that's still better, and I'll take that to leave in one of the boxes for any of our new guys that come on tonight. <coughs> so, let's see, where did I, I got turned around? Okay, there we go. Oh, uh, let me make a couple more javelins in case I come across any violent people. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to make more than that. I've yet to find a reason not to sprint everywhere. And eating does heal you. That's another benefit for that. You know, not so much my food bar. But notice the food, compared to other survival games, the food and water, food and thirst really don't go down very quick at all. Which, yeah, I'm not going to complain about that. That's actually not too bad. So. The survival part of this is more surviving the, uh, some of the, idiots that join these servers 
like I said in the previous one that you may not watch or get to see even uh, just not a huge proponent of oh let's go out and kill anybody and everybody we can just because oh hey we can there's no rules to this game it's uh, one reason I was pretty happy when the admin decided last night to put a uh, password on the server help keep those guys off of here the hackers and all that such that volume is really loud let's see let's try that yeah, it's not as bad but wow and you get that swoosh from that pickaxe and it's pretty loud the volume just doesn't seem to change much we'll just have to see on the recording like I said I'll just have to keep playing with it it's only my second video, possibly the first you see, I don't know. I'll probably post that other video just because. <coughs> we'll go around here and look around. I'm going to gather a little bit of stone while I'm out just for the fun of it. Make the trip a little worthwhile. Alright, so I mean those are stone nodes in case you didn't figure that out. But you get a hundred per node not too bad. These are flax and flax is used primarily to make your uh, armors. I don't think it's used for weapons and tools. I think it might be. Yes it is. Yeah. It's used for that. It's. I think it's used for pretty much everything. Anything that's got to be held together. Um, uh, except for your door. It didn't need any or your chest or anything like that. Uh, but I want to say your crafting stations do. No? They don't either. I uh, know one of them needs it for an upgrading. But I guess primarily it's for your armor and your tools and weapons, it looks like. Um, you know what? I need... We're going to go kill some chickens. I just realized I forgot. I made my bow, but I do not have any feathers. I've got to go get some feathers. So, we're going to come over here and chase the chickens. We're going to stab them. I found that ch killing the ducks and the chickens, they're so small. And you have to look down at them so much just to get to hit them with a swing and I mean this is a big sword that thing's bigger than I am look at that the tip of that just goes off the screen but you've got different attacks you see that's your heavy attack right there I like this guy's house this dude was on all night last night because wow that was not there like I said we didn't restart this server what time is it now it is 12 12 p.m. by my time uh, hell so I'd say this server has been reset for maybe 13 hours and yeah he probably spent at least half that working on that I mean I know once you get the hang of the game you'll pretty much figure out where everything's at and you get it pretty quick and the good thing is if not a high pop server for you if it's not a full server constantly or if you get several hours by yourself I can run around in a circle here and gather up 1500 stone and iron and probably I'd say 30 minutes. It just depends on, you know, if you run into a werewolf or such at night. Uh, that's about the only thing that's going to slow you down. Man, I do not know where the chickens went. Where are they at? They are normally out here. They just seem to have all disappeared. I hate that because maybe I should have gone after the ducks. Oh, there's some chickens. There's one. Let's see, I ran past that. Where? I don't understand. I guess he just didn't spawn yet come to the top of this hill and look around a second. Ah, there's two. We'll go after those two. Two's better than one. Uh, the good thing about the ducks, though, is, yeah, they give you feathers, but they also give you duck feet. And duck feet is used as an ingredient for, uh, let's see, Potion of Antidote gives you a minute to where that plague does not hurt you. And, wow, you know, I didn't even realize until just a second when I saw that also requires livers. I was wondering what else it was for. Yes, there you go. Let's see. Yeah, if I hadn't missed on that first one, it would have been a lot better. See, I found it right there. Just stab them right there. Yeah, it works pretty good. I like it better than trying to swing at them. And, of course, trying to get everything off of them. Swing with that big sword. Man, it's just ridiculous. Now I know why I miss so much. Because uh, I'm not used to fighting in third person. I tend to do it in first person. So... Alright, where'd it go? There's the other one. Let's go get some more feathers. 
because javelins are nice for the first part of the game. As soon as you can get you some arrows and a bow, make you a Fletcher crafting station and get that stuff because you get crosshairs with the bow and it's just a lot more accurate. I mean, the wooden arrows, they don't do as much damage as your uh, wooden javelins, but oh, so much easier. And of course, it takes more resources for the arrows, but that's no big deal. It's not that too hard to get. I mean, really, honestly, we're, we've got our house at, we're right there by a pond that normally has anywhere from, oh, I'd say two to five ducks. So let's see if we can find that third chicken and we'll go get him. Let's see what I've got. Eh, we're almost full anyway, so yeah, we'll go get him and we'll drop off a lot of this little stuff I've picked up. Wasn't intended. It is really dark. I hope it doesn't affect the uh, video too much. Probably going to be pretty hard for you to see. But you know what? Since we're over here, let's get these. Might as well. Get some more stone. Because uh, our base right now is made out of wood. And you can damage wood with any weapon. I think I've seen that you cannot damage the building blocks that have a breach level which is your stone and up which is basically your stone your reinforced wood and your stone block your cobblestone reinforced wood and stone block stone block though oh takes too many resources I don't really I guess once you've got everything else you've got nothing else to do yeah maybe it's worth doing but now the wood reinforced wood that's the next highest and uh, that's actually not too bad because you think about it and the uh, I want to say tier 3 blocks which are the log blocks the strongest normal wood blocks those require 50 wood per block whereas the reinforced wood block which is the next highest on the uh, security level on the um, durability level only requires 25 wood but it, and it requires one iron like I said I can go gather about 150 iron in 30 minutes uh, what is that a rabbit I guess it's a rabbit yeah um, so I mean that's not too bad honestly it'd take you just as long to get some of that wood almost but it's not too bad especially considering see these nodes actually respawn pretty quick I don't know exactly what the timer is on them but I want to say it's anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes it's not as long as an hour I'm pretty sure surprisingly I mean I finished up my circle then went to it wasn't intending to start it again but I got close enough where I could see the stone nodes that I normally start at and they had already respawned and so it, it, it's not very long not as long as you would think there for a while I was just doing each time the sun came up I'd or about halfway through the day or whatever I'd go start my circle and by the time I got done it was dark and I'd go back to the house and get all my stuff together maybe build my wall a little bit more or whatever with what I had gathered and by the time daylight came again everything was respawned and so yeah see these right here the ones I hit already and I'm pretty sure it hasn't even been 30 minutes so we're going to just pick this one up for the fun of it alright and by the way whenever you take out a whole node which the iron nodes also do a hundred the oil nodes are a hundred all of them are 100 um, of the resource that you're gathering once you get it down to this you can keep hitting it if you want and you get one per hit I guess if you know I don't know maybe let's say you've got an agreement with some guild or some guys that are roaming around that hey if you just stay you can have that one node just stay there don't go to the others because we're getting them in if you don't listen we'll kill you you know maybe that type of situation it'll be different but really I don't see the point in sitting there and just hitting one node over and over and over especially when you just go in that circle and collect from each node 
it probably take a lot less time just to make that circle over and over and over than it would to sit there for 30 minutes gathering because uh, I really don't think you hit more than one once per second so <coughs> even though I want to say it's probably closer to two three seconds per swing but I really don't feel like timing it either so Let's come back up here. You know, I did not pay much attention to my timer. Let's see. And there is, well, okay, it's been 20 minutes. Uh, let's drop this off, the stuff I've gathered. Let's see, I, we, the last night this thing bugged and we still can't pick it up. I don't know what's wrong with it. We may try and upgrade it later just for the heck of it and see. And maybe fully upgraded it'll let us let's see let's go in the house make sure my inventory is not full yeah, we're good there ah. alright let's put all this stuff in here I know I've watched a lot of Let's Players and they, or I know one specifically is constantly against inventory management while recording, which I don't really consider this inventory management. I guess it is because I'm trying to put it all together in the same stuff, in the same spot. You know, that's one thing, especially on single players that I start to do, I'll, uh, I guess, just make a drop off chest so that I can just inventory manage off camera, which, you know, makes sense, but yeah, eh whatever for now like I said these first few videos we'll get I'll get comments and stuff telling me hey do this do that do that you know this would be better and everything else and you know I'm already aware of those little things primarily a lot of my I'm pretty sure a lot of my crit critiques will be about oh either the way I talk um, I don't know things I talk about I really don't know for sure what I I mean, I know I'm not doing this perfect. Uh, it'd probably take me a long time if I ever do it perfect. I doubt I will. But, you know, hopefully somebody enjoys it. I know I've enjoyed it. Uh, a lot of the Let's Players I started watching, I think I've only been watching Let's Plays for about a year. Uh, I really enjoy them. Uh, every other day I work at a computer, so and I work night shifts every other rotation. And I tend to just sit there and watch Let's Plays while I'm at work. <laughs> Uh, if I'm caught up on a, any series that I watch. So, I enjoy watching people play games, especially whenever I don't get a chance to play the game. If I'm not able to play it, I'm more than happy to sit there and watch somebody else play. I will live vicariously through somebody else when necessary. So, let's see. You know what? We are going to run around, and I'm going to show you a few things for about five minutes. See if I can find the swamp which okay just to give you reference that was where the uh, our house was so that's to the north which is where the throne in that village is so let's come over here we're going to go to we'll call it west like I said there's no cardinal directions in this game as far as I can tell no, you know there's no compass anywhere no map system so um, we're gonna call this west because we're gonna call the throne room north And off in the distance here to the west, just, no, oh, I want to say southwest to the south of the um, grain field that we were in, we'll find the swamp. And hmm, this is odd, I hadn't seen this before. Here's a dirt mound in a grassy area. Normally it's not here. I've seen them on the beach and I've seen them in the plain, or not the plains, but the uh, grain field, but I've not seen them in the grass. There's a deer. It's actually a buck. Get out of here. Alrighty, there he goes. There's some big moose in here. They are rather large. Uh, they won't hurt you though. So I guess that's good. You don't have to worry about getting... Oh, I forget the word for it now, but basically gutted with their antlers. Uh, some of these are just too steep to climb. Let's come over here. Yeah. A lot of water erosion, not very much in the way of rivers, 
pick up stone while we run around. Mm, let's see. Oh, there's some more chickens. Eh, we're not going to mess with it. Let's find the swamp. Like I said, everybody starts on the beach. And you see the beach there in the distance. Chicken. You run across any animals, they ten tend to, they'll run away from you if you get close to them. There's you another dirt mound. No, sorry. Wolves are eh, kind of sparse. Uh, I think they pretty much are in the same areas over and over. I know one spot that they are always at. There's one or two generally um, that I get stoned from that's part of my circle. And then, of course, there's a spot that there's I've seen come across two different werewolves when gathering the iron in that circle. So. But I assume they uh, keep with the lore on the fact that I've only come across the werewolves at night. So. Oh, see, there's your wolf right there. You know what? We're not going to kill him, though, because I really don't need anything he has. They'll give you fangs and bone and meat and leather. Uh, a heart, liver. Not always a heart and liver. I think those are considered their rare drops. Um, not real rare, but they're rare and of course it's all a loot table and it's not always the same you don't always get the same amount of leather or anything like that from them bones sometimes you get more of one and more of another uh, these right here are your oil nodes now I guess I'll go ahead and pick them up since I'm here really they're kind of a pain because I mean they just don't always hit right sometimes you gotta get right on top of them look down and sometimes that doesn't even work and it's just you know they're not like the stone and the uh, iron nodes on the fact you get up against it and you know stand in front of it and hit it these here you kind of just got to catch them just right to figure out figure out where their hit box is essentially I don't know maybe there's a maybe I haven't figured out the pattern yet that there's an actual way of it being so, you know what I'm thinking we're getting close to our time so because I don't want to really go much above 30 minutes if more time. So they hate about running through the swamp. That water is loud. Um, but I really don't want to get up too much above the 30 minutes. Especially with these being our my first videos. I'm testing this out. and I don't want somebody to get too aggravated listening to me for 30 minutes or more. Or more than 30 minutes. So I will get back to the house and log out safely. <laughs> and take care of some things and see what we want to do from there uh, you know I don't know I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing more game more games I uh, I really want to do one for seven day, seven days to die I don't have any servers that I play on due to the rampant uh, cheating and just all-out rudeness of killing you for the fun of it um, I do enjoy it a lot in single player anyways, so I mean I'll I'll do a single player for it. I just don't know if I'll do it just yet um, due to the fact that Alpha 11 is supposed to drop here hopefully this week, but I don't know if it'll be this week, maybe a week or two. Uh, but I assume sometime in April, if it doesn't come out this week, sometime in April it should come out by the way they're talking. Really looking forward to that, so I may, I don't know if I'll do my debut seven days to die with alpha 11 drop or what but um i have to think i don't know you I mean I, I play some other games almost as frequently i play like mech warrior online i'm thinking to do that but i don't know i haven't seen too, i've not watched any real let's plays for you know first person shooter type games like that um i mean you know i've seen battlefield gameplay footage and stuff like that and usually it's just guys doing tricks and such but I don't know I may watch a few or check somebody else's out and see because primarily most of the let's plays I've ever seen have been for these early access games these sort of survival based games uh, but I may check it out cause, I mean I pl like I said I do play MechWarrior online um, I don't know right offhand this is I mean these three games are essentially what I play at the moment 
I do have other games, and I wouldn't mind, you know, I might, I'd be interested possibly doing other, especially if somebody's got a request for something. I may put in my description as to what all games I do currently own. I'm not sure what I'm looking at here. Let me put that. Huh. That is odd. That's not supposed to do that. Why? I don't know what it did there. I'm going to leave that alone. I broke our house. <laughs> I don't know why it's doing that. Let's go over here and see if this side will work correctly. Uh, it did to a certain degree. I don't Pulled a block it shouldn't have pulled. What the heck is this thing doing? I don't understand. Let me in. Oh, come on, people. You know what? Let me log out because I don't know what it's doing. So, you know what? I'm going to call the video here. I'll log out and log back in see if I can't figure out what this thing's got going. So, thank you for watching, everybody, and I will see you on the next video.